Hi, I'm CJ Elmberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. So it is approaching spring, which means it is time for hog sales, lamb sales, goat sales. Why drag a trailer if you're going to just go buy a couple hogs, a couple lambs, a couple goats? Why not have a stock box to throw in the back of your truck? It'll save you a lot of time and hassle and a lot of money I mean, just dragging your trailer, especially if you're jumping from state to state, uh, making long trips just to go pick up your new projects for the year. These are a great investment, great return on investment. Uh, these are gonna fall a lot like your equipment will. Uh, when you buy that and your kid's done showing, you've got a great piece to sell and usually you're gonna get your money back out of them. So uh, these, are, these are really handy this time of the year. We sell a lot of them. Uh, we have a few on hand, we have more coming, but they are going pretty quick. So these are the Cimarron stock boxes we're looking at here. Uh, on these, we've got two different sizes. We'll talk a little bit more about them. First, I wanna tell you, these are built all aluminum construction. And a lot of the components that you're gonna see on this stock box are actually used on the trailers themselves. You know, these are the same upper rails that you're gonna see on the top of the box that you'd see on a trailer, the same extrusion you're gonna see, the same insulated roof, that's a big one. That is the exact same roof material that is on every single Cimarron trailer. This stuff is strong, really durable. Um, It'll take 150 pounds per square foot. It's a half inch thick, reinforced honeycomb design. But what it, more importantly, is, is not just the strength, but what it does for the stall temperature. Compared to aluminum sheeted trailers on their roofs or stock boxes, it'll keep that stall area about 20% cooler. So let's keep our animals more comfortable uh, as far as that's concerned. As you can see up there on the roof, we went ahead and put two roof vents so those are two two-way roof vents. We can either grab air to force down or release air, either way right there. But again, a lot of the same components we're gonna see on the trailers. On this first box we're gonna look at, you're gonna see the same aluminum fold down slat that you're gonna see on like our show stars, our steer waltz. Um, really simple to just walk by and just flip that down. So, you know, we're gonna be really cool this morning. I mean, you can see We've got some frost on some of the, uh, the tops of the boxes. And then we're gonna get up to mid 50s, probably close to 60 today. So big temperature swings this time of the year. So it's really nice to be able to just walk by and flip this down if, if we need to get a little bit more airflow in there. They put a bar across there just so we know we're dealing with smaller projects. We don't wanna try to, them to try to get their head out. So definitely a nice feature there. Nice grab bar here. Uh, it's very similar to the tie rails you're going to see on our Cimarron, uh, especially show cattle trailers. Um, but this guy here is great because you know you and a you and a buddy can grab on each side of these, pick them up, move them around if you want. As you can see, we have them on pallets. It's a lot easier for us to move them around here on pallets with the forklift. Um, so if you have that capability at home, I definitely recommend when you're unloading this, loading it, use a pallet. It's just easier to maneuver. Uh, but these guys are going to come in around about 220, 230 pounds, just to kind of depend on the size and how they're actually equipped. Um, so you can uh, load them. I've, <laughs> I've loaded one in the back of a truck by myself. It can be done. You just got to tip it and it's, it's a whole thing, but you can do it. But these guys here, I also like this because, you know, if you think about your, your tie downs in your truck, you know, you can actually put like a strap here and connect one of those and make sure it's nice and secure. I've seen some customers take a strap and go over the top. That's all great, you can do that. I like securing these, um, but you have to understand that if your strap does have any movement while you're driving, you'll get some marks on here. So whether you're protecting it with something, cardboard, you know, a rag, something along those lines, if you're gonna go up and over, that's definitely a recommendation there. Uh, but I do like to secure these one way or the other. I mean. I'll show you here in a second. These have a floor, you know, they're, they're a little bit heavier than some of the others out there. And, and I've heard of some without floors um, and some other brands. Uh, actually I actually had a customer I sold a couple Cimarron's to. He had one of these in another manufacturer. Uh, Wynn caught it uh, in the back of his truck. Fortunately, he did not have anything in it. He was headed to a sale. Uh, but because of that no floor in it, he actually had a small chain and it sucked it out of the back of the truck. So. Securing these is important, in my opinion. Uh, again, having a strap on either side of this guy is definitely definitely doable there. So, 
On these here, you're gonna get a double gate. There's a pin on the inside of this guy here on the right. And then there's a good look at that floor. So the floor comes in to play in a couple different scenarios. One is like that other one there. Uh, that other one had the, the opportunity for the air to get underneath it and it just worked as almost like a parachute and just picked it up and out it went. The floor is definitely gonna help with that. It also had weight, weight to it. But I like the floor from the standpoint of, look, we're not having any mess in the back of the actual bed of the truck. So when we pull this out, we don't have to deal with all that. And plus it'll make it easier getting in and out of there. Um, so you're gonna have to clean this out, but very simple to do. Uh, we like to build all of ours with the floor. Um, everything we have on, on order is gonna have the floor. And I'll show you here in a second, we've got an actual light on it. But these back two gates, because of the way the setup is, you're gonna have plexiglass on these guys. Those can be removed if you want. Uh, you can throw a padlock on the back of these or a clip of any sort. But as you can see, I've got one large opening in there. And that's because we've got this new store at the side gate. Uh, a lot of times on these 60 inches, which we're looking at right now, uh, customers like the gate down the middle or one across. Uh, not so much the T-style gates, just because it's a 60 inch, it just kind of makes everything a little bit tight. But we're doing most of ours with the store at the side gate, as you see right now. And where that concept came from, it came from the Showstar model in the pin system because we can adjust 50-50 to 60-40 very, very easily. But as you can see, I've got this one open already at the side. Um, I'll show you how it works. There's a pin on the floor that I can just pop out and I can flip it over. Again, same motion that you'd see in the show stars. And then I just pin it in. And then I've got two separate compartments there. So if I wanted to separate somebody, I can do that. Uh, but slick, easy, you know, you have to understand that this is gonna be in the bed of your truck. So you know, we're, we're doing everything at about this height right here, but it's very easy to unpin, flip that over and store it to the side. Again, I'll show you just really simple and lock out of the way. So with that being said, on the inside, I'd mentioned the light. We're gonna have the LED OptiBright light. That's what we use on the trailers as well. So this guy's gonna put out a ton of light, not a big power draw by any means on this one here. Uh, but you know, our cab light is gonna be useless at this point in here, uh, just cause it's gonna hit the top of the box and we're not gonna be able to really see anything. So it's definitely nice to have some like switches right in here inside the back so you can access it. This one here had a little bit of an upgrade as well. This 60 incher that we're looking at is sold. Uh, we had it on order, talked to a customer at stock show. They wanted to add one piece. You're gonna see this outlet right up here. That's a power outlet. And here at the back corner, is an inlet. So it's almost gonna work like, almost like an extension cord. So you can plug your cord in right here. And what he wanted to do is occasionally put a heater in there of some sort these time, this time of the year. So with his new truck and a lot of these newer trucks, they've got an actual outlet that we can run power to from the bed of the truck. So he can plug it right there. So there can be some customization to these that is definitely doable. Um, on these guys, so standard is gonna be 48 inches wide that we're looking at here, 43 inches tall. And then our lengths will vary. You can do a 60 inch, 72, those are the most popular. You do have to keep in mind that you're gonna have some hardware here. And then we've got bumpers at the front. So when we push this up against the bed, it's gonna hit those guys. With the bumpers and the hardware at the back, you're gonna add three inches to each box. So this one's 63. The next one I'll show you, it's a 72, but with the hardware, it's 75. But if you look a lot of the standard bed trucks, they've built these to where we can get these in them and shut the tailgates. Um, sometimes customers will run like an eight foot box with a, a toolbox. Well, the 72 can still work in those type of scenarios. So. Um, there can be some customization. I mean, maybe you're running like a, a Nissan or a Toyota. You know, those are narrower wheel wells. Uh, so these 48 inches will not fit. They kind of run between about 41 and about 42, 42 and a half, somewhere right in there between wheel well. So these can be custom built to fit some of those sizes. We'll just need, you know, 
about three to four weeks to potentially build you what you want. But those type of customizations can be done. Um, had some customers build them wider to put on a flatbed. Uh, you know, we can do some other lengths. Uh, there might be a little bit of an upcharge based on some of that customization, but um, can definitely be done there. Also on these back gates, same thing as on the actual trailers. Look at these hinges. These are welded hinges with grease certs. So same as you're gonna see on a lot of the trailers. So we can actually maintain, put grease to these. If they get a little squeaky, um, again, put that grease to them, open and close them, and it'll feed it throughout that entire hinge itself. Over here on this next one, uh, this one here is going to be a 72. So again, with your hardware, you're going to add about three inches, one at the front and two at the back with that hardware there. Uh, but as far as the concept goes on the inside of this one, the stall area itself, exact same. Store at the side gate. That one's set right in the middle right now, but again, can be unpinned and swung to the side. Once again, flip over and out of the way. Uh, again, you can do a couple other options. You can do the gate that goes straight down the middle. Um, but now I feel like this is gonna be completely replaced by this because with that one there, they're fixed hinges. So you have to go and unpin them and physically take the gate out. Uh, the gate across the middle is still a popular one. If you wanted to kind of make those a front stall and a back stall. On these 72s, occasionally some customers will do the T style. So you have at the front a gate, and then at the back you have a gate running, splitting it 50-50. So we can open it all up, we can close it. You can actually remove this gate here if you want, keep that front as maybe storage feed, maybe some uh, tack, that type of stuff in there. That's a, a kind of a popular option there. Um, but on this, on this one here, this is another version with the plexiglass. So. Not only do we have plexiglass on the back, but we've got it on the side. Now with that, I always like the pocket knife just because it's a little bit easier. Get my glove off here, I can actually get some grip. And basically I just kind of get one ahead of the other and then I can slide the plexiglass out. Compared to the fold down, you can see it's just gonna take a little bit more. Um, there's definitely a price difference in the two, but. On this one here, I'd have to take this out and then store it to where on that one, I can just fold it down or fold it up. Uh, but this is once again, the same track that they're gonna use on their stock trailers. So again, so much of the actual trailers has been flipped over to this side of the stock boxes themselves. Again, the exact same extrusion that they use on the trailers, you know, same upper rail, same roof material, same door hinges. Again, so much of it just converts over. So it's not just like, hey, let's grab some spare aluminum and slap together a box and throw it in the back of the truck. These guys are stout and, and again, built really well. So again, return on investment, I hear it time and time again. Customers will say, you know, hey, I bought that box from you years ago. Um, you know, we sold it the other day and got our money out of it. You know, you'll have some friends that you show with um, other families shoot and you can put it up on social media and have it gone probably pretty dang quick and again get a lot of your money back so we've got again some uh, some boxes available again they're going fast this time of the year we have more on order and coming in on some trailers uh, so give us a call um, these guys here I should back up a second these guys here are gonna be um, uh, they're non titled so they're gonna be like a part so it's gonna be taxes based on uh, you know where you're purchasing them but with that being said you know it's it's really a good product to have again you don't have to drag a trailer around this time of the year if you don't have to making it so much easier whether it's getting into hotel rooms grabbing something to eat gas stations those type of things uh, by having these stock boxes running and dragging a trailer so give us a call anybody on our sales team can help you out that number is 303-684 3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.